everybody, Kathy here with Paint Pouring by Kathleen Miller. In my last video, I got my hair in this uh, stuff, and I hate getting my hair in this stuff. I'm really, really picky about getting hair, my hair with anything, and Phil was laughing so hard, it was not funny. But this is one of Phil's ideas again, so I'm going to let him explain what he wants me to do <laughs> like normal. Okay, well, a couple of videos ago, you know, uh, we did this first, uh, this barrier pour idea, and it, it worked out okay. It did make the paint flow in different ways than normal, but I really didn't like the, the way I had the barriers on there because they were like big blobs, and they almost looked like dog food on the canvas. It looked like ground beef. <laughs> ground beef dog food. So I thought, well, okay, I, I did like the effect it, it created. So I thought, well, let's let's try some barriers that aren't quite as... <laughs> look like worms. Yeah, look, yeah, well, these look like worms, but we'll see. And we're going to do a flip cup in the middle, and uh, and then Kathy's going to tilt it around the barriers, and we'll see what happens. Okay, so, but what is uh, different, I'm already using the Already Made Paints by Michaels. And this one is uh, the Phthalo Blue, the Silver, and the Turquoise. And I did put Helmer's Silicone two drops into each cup. So we're gonna see how this works with Phil's idea again. Yeah, it did look like chopped chopped meat. <laughs> One of the uh, subscribers said she was on her cell phone looking at it. She said, at first I thought, oh my gosh, Kathy, it looks like ground beef. Well, then when I looked at it, I'm thinking, oh my God, she's right, it does. And I said, Phil, what do you think this looks like? He goes, dog food. <laughs> I go, uh, well, it does look like chopped beef, ground beef. And he goes, oh my gosh, it does. That was so funny because she was so correct. Oh my gosh, we laughed and laughed. So I said, you know, we we can't do this because this is really ugly. <laughs> well, it was our first try. So uh, this is our second try at uh So you notice he's something. saying it was our first try. Well, I, I'm only going to take half the blame. I said to him today, why don't you just do this yourself? Oh, oh well, no, no, you're much better. I go, well, I'm not doing those squiggles or anything that you're making because it looks like chopped liver. So he sat there and he's doing it. He, he comes up with all this stuff, but that's okay too. So it makes life fun. So I hope everybody had a great Christmas. We did, but um, I'm dressed like it's really summer here. It is so cold. It's not even funny. I, I can, Illinois is warmer. Tennessee is warmer. Phil's sister lives in Texas. It's warmer in Texas. It's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. We have such cold, and it's raining here again. Come to cloudy, cold, rainy Arizona for yeah. your vacation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you wanted to retire somewhere where it was nice and sunny and warm. Yeah, well, we better get our vitamin D in the vitamins <laughs> because we're not getting it from any sunshine. And it's really kind of a shame because the golf courses are empty because it's so cold that if you're here to golf, it's ridiculous. So they're going to have to come back in summer when... You know, when it's 120 degrees, they're out there golfing. They're crazy, but that's their life, not mine. I wouldn't be out there. Of course, I don't go out there when it's a perfect weather because I just see it as hitting a stupid little ball around. Okay, so I'm going to do this flipper. And as you noticed, Phil forgot to put <laughs> the tape on the back of his oh, canvas. Hey. You skip a few steps, that takes shortcuts. Mm, then you <laughs> should be able to do this. Oh yeah, I would have that all, all over the place. Okay, here's our flip. Okay, flip it. Yep. We gotta let it go down and do its thing. <laughs> and see yep. what happens with his new idea. Some pretty blues. Well, there better be because there's two blues <laughs> in it. I don't think we're gonna get any greens. <laughs> I don't or think we'll, we or might or not get much pinks. silver. Yeah, I hope some silver comes through, yeah. That would be pretty. I'm kind of curious to see how this is going to flow on here. Yeah, let's see if that... Uh, goes around your worms. Goes, goes around my little worms here. This one kind of oh. looks like one oh. of the things that runs out in our yard. Yeah, salamander? Yeah. The uh, 
Hopefully they won't fall off because I just put them on about a half hour ago and they're still wet. Yeah, they're, yeah they're, but they're not going to fall off. No, they're good. If they do, I'll be surprised because these things don't fall off. No, I think we'll, when you do pick it up, we'll try to pick it up straight up. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. Well, I just... Oh, it's going around your barriers. It's going around the barriers, and I, I made them just high enough so they wouldn't... Oh, well, no, one, one went over the barrier. Well, that's okay, too. We had a break in the levee on that one. Oh no no, I had that's right. I had a, I had an opening there. Mm -hmm. Now that, that that's mm -hmm. where the opening was. Okay, mm -hmm. all right. Okay. Well, yeah, we got a lot of nice cells yeah, with this. Yeah, we got a lot of nice cells and. But now with really me nice tipping views. this, you're going to go over your barriers. Um, well, just tip it. Can you tip it just slightly at a time? Well, I guess it it doesn't hurt to go over the barriers. I guess because you can paint the barriers. Mm hmm. So. If we just maybe do it slow, maybe I should have had some bigger openings. We'll just have yeah, to well, repaint actually, your... I, well, actually, I don't really mind it going over the barriers because the barriers are still doing their thing with redirecting the paint. So I don't think it really... It might even look better with the barriers covered in the blues. You can always paint them black if you want. Yeah, that's true too. Yeah, uh, these barriers are going to be long gone. I'll go the other way a little bit. I got to. Don't you want it to come down well, off I this do. thing? I do, but. A lot of times you don't go all the way to the end before you go to the next. The well, other you way. know what, Phil? What? I have some news for you. <laughs> news flash. I am going to have you do this yourself I'm, next time. I'm just giving you that unsolicited advice I'm so famous for. Yeah, so I'm going to, I want to give you some unsolicited advice that you're so famous for. Keep my mouth shut? <laughs> That's impossible. You always make me do all of these ideas that you have. Well. Oh, we are getting some, some silver to go with the light blue and the darker blue. These um, already made paints are very, very thin. Oh, that's As why you can tell. Yeah, I was going to say that's they are flowing pretty pretty good. Yeah, I think we're going to lose ourselves too. Really? Yeah. Well, but maybe we'll gain some stretch marks. Well, I got plenty of those from having kids, <laughs> let me tell you. <laughs> I love these colors though. The colors are really pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. Well, actually the um, the barriers are getting covered, but they're giving it some interesting depth and uh, texture to to the painting, which I like. I like how some of it just sticks up as black. Yeah. Well, it's. I feel like we're on vacation and we're in the middle of the ocean and we're seeing all these things. Some new islands popping up. Yeah. What should we call these islands? Phil's Islands. These are Phil's Islands.
Yeah, I mean, they're not, it's not too bad, actually. No. I'm going to torch it and see if what happens here, if anything comes to life on your islands. Yeah, let's see if we can get some cells going or something. Probably. We'll get something going. I don't yeah, know what it's going to be. Do you want to put paint on the black parts that are sticking out? No, I do not. Okay. All right. I don't. I kind of like those black parts sticking out. <laughs> right. You don't? That's, no, it's your, it's your painting. No, it's, it's fine with me. I think it, it kind of gives... Well, I don't know. It's up to you because it's your painting. So if you want me to put black on, we have plenty of, of paint that we can do that. So... I'm thinking about it. Well, you just I've keep thought thinking. about it. Oh, no. And I think we should. Okay, then. As soon as I torch this little puppy. And maybe we shouldn't. Oh, Again, you know, you want some interesting things in a painting that are kind of out of the ordinary sometimes. Well, that's out of the ordinary. It is out of the ordinary. I, see, I like it with, with those showing. But, like I said, it's your it's your painting, so you have to decide. I don't think my idea of these barriers changed the, um, you know, the composition, or, composition or stretching of the paint as much as I thought it would, but... On the positive side, yeah, I do like I do like the texture that that pumice gives to the painting. Yeah, I, I like the texture that uh, pumice gives. I think it's just it's just something different, mm -hmm. and um, just makes it a little bit unique. Yeah, because all of a sudden you're looking at it, it's like. Hey, there's something sticking up, <laughs> right. you know? So, well, okay, this was experiment number two. Um, it's better than the first one. I still think I need to refine a few things here to get it the way I, I want. Well, yeah, because it doesn't look like ground beef, finally. <laughs> That's right. It doesn't look like ground beef. We're now down to uh, worms, caterpillars, but... Uh, I'd anyway. rather have that than the ground beef. <laughs> exactly. It doesn't stick out like a sore thumb and and ruin, ruin the, the uh, composition. The composition. So um, I'm happier with this one. I love the colors. I would have liked to have seen um, a, a little bit more in the way of cell, cell action. But again, we... Um, uh, we weren't really going for yeah, that. Yeah, we weren't really so, going I mean, for the cells on this one. So We are going to see how the uh, yeah. pumice made the bumps and yeah. everything in the paint, yeah. how it directed it. Yeah. So, I mean, as far as, you know, getting what we wanted that way, it actually did what you wanted. Exactly. Um, yeah. But, I mean, there's some cells in it. You can yeah, see there's yeah. some cells. It just looks like, it, it reminds me of creatures on the bottom of the ocean or something. Mm -hmm. Swimming around. That's why I don't go barefoot. It's like, because that's, <laughs> that's what's down there. It's like, you. But, okay, everybody, please subscribe to our channel. We have a lot of fun. Um... And until the next time, you never know what Phil's going to come up with or make me do. So if you subscribe, hit the bell, you'll get notified every time he uploads a video. Tell a friend. Tell a friend. Share, I mean. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, it's share. Share. Share the video if you want. Leave us a comment. Hit the up like if you really like it. And um, until the next time, bye.